My talk will be from El Mayer to Silicon Valley. This is where I grew up. <laughs> this was my village. Uh, it's a small, small village in the uh, uh, Wadrigh. For those who don't know, it's related to Wad, located between uh, Biskra and Tugurt. I never knew that electricity existed until I was 12. We did not have even running water. No fridge, no uh, internet. This is the extent of technology that I got to. That's my phone at that time. So that's where I started. Literally, it could have been anybody. I just happened to be a number in probabilities. It, it just a probability happened that it's me. It could have been anybody. And I am absolutely no different than any of you. And I will, I will go through some points just to make the point that uh, anybody could have done it. At, at the age of 12, I had an idea. I didn't know. I was in the Sahara Desert, small village. You don't know anything. So uh, I had this idea. I used to go buy soap. My mom sent me to buy soap and the card there, some card this for games and all this. And I had this idea as a kid. So I wanted to make a game and uh, that I'll teach people geography. And I was thinking about how to do it. And I went to people and said, this is will make very good. I made my card and I went to people try to inside them to do it, and people look at me crazy. Like, but I did not know what it is at that time, so I just didn't know. So I gave up the idea, but I never left that dream go away. I had it, I never let it go. When I finished my PhD, I decided, I took six months, and I worked on it, and I made it a game, and it sold, it sells all over the world, and I get royalties on it. So never let your dream die, even if it stays inside, whenever you have the chance, do it. So to get out of my place, I realized the only way possible for me with the background I have is education. Education, education, education. And I had a lot of gaps, a lot of holes. So I took all the classes, and, uh, all these practical classes and all this. And my last few, day, few years at Stanford, I was doing a PhD in solar energy at that time. And there is this guy, these two guys, they came to me and they said, we are interested to do a startup in semiconductors. And I go, what is a startup? and they want me to be the technical, uh, the CTO of the company. I said, no, man, I don't want to do it. I'm going to Algeria to teach. And that's what I was sent. I was sent to go and come back and teach. So many years later, a few years later, I ran into these guys. I found they were there. They were selling company. The company went sold for 100 million bucks. What, why I'm telling this story is these are people that believed in me more than I believed in myself. That's the worst thing that can happen to a human being, that somebody else believes in you more than you believe in yourself. So I, I just hit me, hit me, the biggest thing hit me in life. And I went and I wanted to know everything about startups, how to do companies, how to, I learned everything possible. Life, when you do things, you, you should not try to be uh, better than anybody. You have to be better than yourself. Better yourself, get to know yourself and do better than you can. Don't worry about anybody. We don't all start with the same point. Some people have their fathers is Bill Gates and some people have uh, Mahatma Gandhi, I guess, or something like that. So we don't have the same funding, we don't have, so we start differently. So you do what you can with what you have and you push forward. And while going, so what you do with this is you take a step by step, you set goals and you go step by step and don't worry about what's happening around you. So it's a small, solid steps and strong goals. And while going, remember to leave your footprints. You have to go and leave your footprints. For whatever you do, you are a farmer, you are a scientist, you are uh, uh, somebody who sweeps the, uh, the floors, you try to do the best you can. And that's what all you need to, to, to do. So uh, if you look at it this way, it looks like stairs going up. This is life, it's very easy. In fact, life is not like that, unfortunately. It's more like this. At least my life has been like this, or even worse. So uh, you go up and down and up and down, and uh, life is full of ups and downs, and you have to ride them, ride them and take them to where you are. And just wake up every time when you, you do it. I, I, I will tell you small stories. So I went to my tax man, a guy who was about 80 years old, and he was uh, doing his taxes, my taxes, and he told me, let me tell you an advice. And he said, look, you are not old enough to know this. I am retired. I sit in the backyard. 
And there is nothing that bothers me in life than thing that I want to do and I have never done. It eats me in life and you cannot sleep when you're old. So do them now. The next day I quit my job and I went and I did something else. If you have something in your mind and you want to do it, don't let it there. Get it out of your system. That's the best way to do things. It's by trying and moving forward, you learn things. If you break eggs, let it be. The more eggs, the bigger the omelet. So please discover yourself and know what you love. It is money, let it be money. Research is that but you have to love what you want to, want to do. And things will roll out from there. My advice is never stop advancing and never look back except to assess yourself. Don't let life define you, you should define life. And keep dreaming. Don't downplay yourself, risk big, do things and if it doesn't work, you go back and work for some other companies. Life is short to just keep repeating the same thing. You really need to uh, snap out of it, like, yeah, I, I, let me lose a couple of years of my life. It might lead somewhere. Don't be afraid of... See, you cannot make an omelet unless you break the eggs. You learn, also you fail in life. It's okay. You fail in life, and while failing, I learn so many things. So if it's a good, successful company, Everything is going fine and you don't learn very much. If it's a failure, you learn so much. It's unbelievable. If you really have a good education and you step out of government is going to give me a job, what am I going to do, all that stuff, you have to get out of it. Start to think about what problem the society has, can I solve it? A lot of people tell me I have an idea. Everybody has an idea. Everybody in his whatever has an idea. Ideas is the easiest thing to have in life. If you don't have an idea, there is something wrong with you. Whether you make money or money, or it's already out or not, that's another story. But at least I'm telling you, ideas are bound. So it's not the idea that's important. Let me tell you. None of us is smart enough to know everything. So, if you wait, somebody is going to find it. You are lucky you had an idea ahead of time, so you are blessed. Six months later, max, it's known about six months. If you have an idea, you didn't do anything about six months later, it's gone. So, don't think about, I have an idea and I sit, and it's a weekend thing. It's after hour thing, I'm going to work until after hour. That doesn't work. doesn't work at all. Try not to fall in love with your idea. And this is it's very crucial because if you fall in love with your idea, anybody who comes to talk to you say, but no, 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 you're wrong. The formula says that's wrong. You have to be able to say, because you're risking your life, you have everybody who tell you something and it sounds like it's a problem. Maybe there is a problem. You'd rather talk to the guy that if you get out the problem and stop rather than hide it behind the curtain and keep continuing. Don't try to make all the money by yourself. 100% of zero is zero. 10% of a big number is quite very good. So bring people, have them share with you the, the wealth. Make something successful. Don't look for the money, look for the success. Why am I thinking, I'm not uh, bragging about it. It's one thing, if you have a dream, don't let it go. Doesn't matter, it will stay for 20, 30 years. Stick with it. One of these days, it 